G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 23 of the Fine Art of Distraction. So, with today's episode, I'm going to be doing another piece for my dad's boss, Gavin. Gavin loved the piece that I did for him last time so much that when we were hanging it on the wall, he said, hey, can you do one for that room over there? And I'm like, yeah, why not? And he goes, you know, it would look awesome. A big round one. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll see what I can find. <laughs> now you might remember a couple of weeks ago, I did this 50 centimeter round one from my friend Megan. Now, as you can see, it's resined and it's all ready to go. And I thought that this was big. This is 50 centimeters. I thought that was a big round. Well, it turns out that that's actually pretty small. Check out the size of this bad boy. Boom. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is a 90 centimeter round canvas. What? <laughs> That's right, it's a canvas. Boom. It's not a board, it's a 90 centimeter canvas. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm going to be pouring on that bad boy. <laughs> you! And, and I actually said to Gavin, I said, what do you want me to try to do on there? And he goes, I really liked the, um, the dragon skin one that you did. I'm like, okay, I'll try to recreate it for you. So for those that haven't seen the dragon skin one or um, forgot what it looks like, it's actually this one just here. So I'm going to try my best to actually get it close to this. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm using the same colors plus a couple more. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try to recreate this. Now, I'm emphasizing the word try because as you guys know in the fluid art world, it's impossible to actually replicate an exact um, copy um, of, a, of a fluid art piece because when you're um, tilting or spinning out um, the, the paint it's going to move in a different way every single time so it is impossible to actually do an exactly the same replica so I am going to try my best to get it close to this um, but yeah I, I, I'm sure um, it'll turn out good well I hope it'll <laughs> I hope it'll turn out good and um, I hope when I actually finish it, I hope that Gavin loves it as well. <laughs> but before we head over to the table and start pouring some paint, there's a few special people that I just want to say thank you to. The first person I want to say thank you to is actually my sister's boyfriend, Jose. Jose was actually in America a couple of weeks ago. And when he was there, guess what he picked up for me? He picked up a bottle of US Flow Troll. You! <laughs> I've been wanting to try this for such a long time. And yeah, he picked it up for me. So, Jose, thank you so much. You are a legend, sir. <laughs> There's also another extremely special person that I want to say thank you to, to. And that's actually Michelle from Royal River Art. Michelle actually sent me such a lovely, amazing wonderful package she sent me not only a little picture of one of her artworks but an extremely heartfelt message on the back and it touched my heart when i was reading it so michelle thank you so much for for this but not only did she send me this she actually filled the box with a lot of goodies that i can't get here in australia okay so firstly she sent me <laughs> a bottle of flow troll so now i have two Yoo! <laughs> but apart from um the flow troll she also sent me an eight ounce tub of satin enamel now this one i am so 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 grateful for an eight ounce 
container of 24 karat gold deco art. Deco art 24 karat gold, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I've been wanting to try this for such a long time because I see all of my American friends using it all the time and I'm like, God, I wish I could get that here in Australia. So thank you so much, Michelle. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> That's not all. She sent me a few other little goodies. She also sent me Deco Art Extreme Sheen um, Sky Blue Topaz. Um, Deco Art um, Multi Surface metal Metallic Green. Metallic Violet Shimmer. Pearls um, Desert Turquoise. Pearl's Lamp Black. Pearl's Baby Pink. Extreme Sheen Garnet. And Extreme Sheen Emerald. So, Michelle, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. You are such an angel. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And... <laughs> The thank yous haven't finished yet. There's also one more thank you that I've got to send out. And that's to Mitchell from Rain and Pause. Mitch actually sent me a message saying, Hey, do you use boom gels at all? And I, and I said to him, I said, oh, I've always wanted to try boom gels, but every time I've had some spare money and I go to click add to cart, I end up... Um, buying products that I need to just top up like things that I'm running out on and he said well don't don't bother because I've got some that I, I want to send to you and I'm like no you don't have to send me anything it's fine and he goes it's fine I did some product testing with them and after that they've been just sitting there so I'm more than happy to send them to you and I'm like let me send you some money for them and I'll buy them and he goes no 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 they're my gift to you so <laughs> Mitchell, thank you so much for my boom gels. The boom gels that he sent me are Willy Wagtail, Pearlescent Teal, Pearlescent Baby Blue, um, Elictus Green, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Um, Pandora Pink, Pearlescent Watermelon, Lily Pilly Pink, Pea Flower Orange, and also Flame Trees Red. <laughs> But not only did he send me um, all of um, those boom gels, he actually sent me a whole heap of um, sample packs of um, pigments, um, which I'll just show you just here. <laughs> and Mitchell, you are an absolute legend. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, ah, yeah, so to Jose, Michelle and Mitchell, Oh my God, you guys are absolute amazing human beings. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you all. <laughs> all right, guys. So um, now that I've told you what I'm going to be doing today, I've showed you the extremely amazing gifts. Firstly, before we head over to the table, I just got to show you this one more time. How awesome is this? I can't believe I made this. <laughs> I'm still gobsmacked that this looks so much like real wood. Like, I'm amazed that I did it first time I've ever used resin. So, sorry, I just had to show it again. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's head over to the table and we'll start. I'll show you the, the products I'm going to be using and then... 
then I'll start pouring. Oh, actually, firstly, I'm going to be doing a bloom, a, a bloom swipe. That's what I did to, to create that. It was a bloom swipe. <laughs> All right, guys, let's head over to the table and I'll show you the products that I'm going to be using. And then, yeah, we'll get into it. Thanks, guys. Alrighty then, so here's all the products we're going to be using today and as you can see there's quite a lot going on here but let me break it down for you so it doesn't seem so daunting. There's two different types of acrylic paints down the front here. The first one is Liquitex Basics and the, this one here is Amsterdam. The Amsterdam here is Oxide Black and I'll be using this one as my cell activator and I'll be mixing it with Aussie Flow Troll, four to one. So that's four parts Aussie Flow Troll to one part Amsterdam Oxide Black. Okay, four to one. Now let's start on the colors. The Liquitex Basics colors that we've got here are gold, phalo green, phalo blue, and dioxazine purple. And you guys know how much I love my phalos, so of course I'm adding them into the mix. You. <laughs> In the middle here, we've got um, the pigments and they're from Health of Mind Art. And the colors are Rich Gold, Electric Daisy, Mossy Mermaid, Electric Blue, Velvet Purple, Deep Red, and Blood Red. Now, the four Liquitex Basics colors here and also all of the pigments have been mixed with Torben's Easy Coat in Neutral and also Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Now, that's actually the Shelly Art recipe, so unfortunately, I can't tell you what ratio I've mixed up with them. I can tell you that the pigments and the paints are actually a different ratio, but unfortunately, I can't tell you what the ratio is. But if you do want to learn the Shelly Art technique and also the Shelly Art um, recipe, jump onto the website and you'll get to do the course and you will learn so much about fluid art, blooms and also recipes. Alrighty. <laughs> the pillow paint that I'll be using today is actually British Paints Four Seasons Defense Exterior in Low Sheen and the color is, can you guess it? It's black. <laughs> of course I'm gonna use black. Black's my favorite base color, so of course I'm gonna use that. <laughs> now you might be thinking, what the hell's going on here? Am I gonna be cooking today? <laughs> no, well, the, um, the omelet spatula, I'm actually just gonna use that to sort of spread out the, um, the pillow paint. The, um, the ladle here, I'm actually just gonna use that to actually scoop out the paint from out of the, um, the paint tin. And then these, palette knives here I'm actually going to be using to actually um, swipe the cell activator across all the colors. So I've got three different sizes there. Um, I'll probably use this one the most just because I have a massive area to actually cover. Um, then I'll do some sort of fix ups with this one and then some fine tuning with this little baby. <laughs> I've also got my, um, my torch here to actually get rid of any of the air bubbles. Um, but I also will um, use a skewer if I need to. If, if there's any sort of stubborn um, bubbles, then I'll use the skewer to get rid of them. Alrighty. So now that I've gone through what I'm going to be using today, I'll clear off all of this. I'll mix up some paints and then we can get going. All right. Thanks guys. Alrighty then. So firstly, what we want to do, we want to actually start by taping it up. So let's flip her over and tape up the back. Now what you want to do, because it's a, it's a round base, I've, I've literally just um, pressed it down around the edges. What you want to do, you want to make sure that that's actually nice and secure. 
So just get something with a rounded bottom on it and just sort of go along and like press down on it really hard. And you want to do this on a, on a square surface as well. And now what you want to do, you want to, you want to go in, in the same direction and sort of push down the rest of the actual tape. So now that we're all sort of secure all the way around, now what you want to do, you actually want to rub on the tape. Now by, by rubbing on the tape, you're actually activating the actual sticky adhesive that's on the tape and it, and it binds it stronger to the actual canvas. So just, all you got to do is just give it a rub. Alrighty, I think we're all down. Now we can flip her back over. Oh, actually, one thing I forgot to do I forgot to spray the back. You're probably thinking, what the hell is he doing by, by spraying on the back? Now, by spraying on the back of the canvas, what's actually happening is the water is actually absorbing into the canvas itself, and then it's actually tightening, okay? So what, and, and it starts to tighten as it actually dries out. So what I'm going to do to speed up the process is actually get my heat gun and then just give it a light sort of um, going over with the heat. And then that way, as the water is actually sort of drying out, it's actually tightening the canvas. Okay. Now I just noticed just here, there's a little bit of an indentation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spray on that bit just a little bit. <clears throat> and rub that in. And then that'll actually take that indentation out. So if you ever notice that any of your canvases ever have like a dent in it, like say if you've lent another canvas up against it and you're like, ah, oh, no, I've got a dent in my canvas. Don't stress, it's actually salvageable. Flip it over, spray some water on it and then rub it in. And then it's almost like magic. You will actually literally see that indentation start to suck away. then so we've got all our paints mixed up and we're ready to go and this is actually the order that I'm gonna uh, lay them on the canvas so you you'll remember when when doing a bloom you do a pigment sandwich which which means you do a tube paint and then put the pigments in between the tube paints okay so tube paint pigment pigment tube paint okay so what we've got here we've got Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, which is the tube paint. Then we've got um, two 
pigments, which are health of mind art. I mean, they're all health of mind art pigments, so I'll just say um, when they're pigments and not. So we've got um, electric daisy, uh, sorry, electric blue and deep red. They're the pigments. Then we've got Liquitex Gold. So there's your pigment sandwich there. So tube paint, pigment, pigment, tube paint. Then followed by two more pigments, which is Mossy Mermaid and Electric Daisy. And then we've got Liquitex um, Phalo Blue. So there's another pigment sandwich. So we've got tube paint, pigment, pigment, tube paint. Then we're following it with, sorry, I'll do this. We've got another pigment just here, which is violet purple. Then two more um, pigments, which is um, blood red and rich gold. And then Liquitex Basics Phalo Green. So there's another pigment sandwich. So we've got tube paint. Pigment, 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 tube paint. Okay, so there's there's three sandwiches basically. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me clear this off. Then I'll um, chuck some pillow paint down and then we can start pouring. Thanks guys. And then in the middle, I forgot to mention, we've got the Amsterdam Oxide Black, which is the cell activator. Okay, so that's why I had it in the middle, so, that, so it was separate from the others. So yeah, so that's the cell activator. Alrighty, so one thing I actually want to do just before we get started, just because it's such a big round canvas, and I'm going to be placing a lot of the, the or most of the paint smack bang in the middle, I want to actually um, put a little bit of um, support under the under the center. So what I want to do is put one of my old round boards underneath, um, just so it sort of props it up. Also, tight like a drum. You. <laughs> so I just want to show you something. I'm going to be using one of my old um, boards that, I, that I've done and I just want to show you, you don't want it to be sort of um, thicker than the actual bracing of the canvas so always measure before you actually um, put a support underneath and as you can see um, you can still see a little bit of the actual um, edging, but that's fine because um, that means it's only going to sort of sink by roughly around about three mil, three or four mils, which is not, not a bad thing. It's better than having no support at all. So yeah, so I'm going to put this board on the center and then I'm going to sort of place the canvas over the top of it. What do you reckon of this, by the way, guys? I actually did this um, before I started my channel. <laughs> See, there's only a, roughly around about sort of Two, a three, three mil, sort of until it actually hits the board, which is perfect. You now trying to line up a massive canvas on a massive lazy susan to be exactly center is almost impossible because the canvas is like an inch, just or not even an inch, about three quarters of an inch bigger than the actual Lazy Susan, so...
I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. So, all right. Oh my God, I'm actually really nervous, guys. I, this is the most nervous I've ever been doing doing this one. I don't know why. I'm actually really, really, really nervous. All right, so I guess there's no time like the present, eh? Now there's actually only about less than a quarter of the tin in here, so I'm actually just going to pour it straight into the sieve. I do have a, a second um, tin ready to go. All right, just make sure I'm going to record. Yep. All righty. Wish me luck, guys. Ah! <laughs> So now that I've got the um, the base coat down, I'm now going to put a pillow paint down. Now, there, there's a difference between a base coat and a pillow paint. Okay, so the pillow paint is actually, it almost looks like a pillow of paint on top of the canvas. And a base coat is actually when you coat the whole surface. So... I've done the um, the base coat, so then um, when the pillow paint goes on, it actually can slide over it a lot easier. So then the, the colors on top will actually spread out easier as well, okay? So I'm just opening up the other tin. Brands Banker. All right, guys, now I'm going to use my ladle, and then also, even though it's a brand new tin, I'm still going to um, put it through the sieve. All righty. Let's give it a little bit of a stir. Not a, a vigorous one, just a very soft stir. Alrighty guys, now it's time to lay the colours and wish me luck because I am very, very nervous. <laughs> um, also, before I actually start, um, I will be spinning it a little bit, but just because of the size of it, um, I think I'm going to have to tilt it a little bit because, um, because it's actually overhanging off the actual um, Lazy Susan a little bit. If I go to spin it really hard, there's a chance that it will actually slide off. Even though I've got a silicon mat on there, um, yeah, it's there's really only sort of a half an inch of, of actual grip. So, yeah, um, I don't want to take the risk of spinning it and then it's, it's spinning off. So, yeah, so I'll spin it a little bit just to spread the paint out um, evenly, but then I'll end up tilting it, tilting it off. All right. So wish me luck guys. Ah, oh, look at these hands. They're already started. You. Almost looks like a, 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 a really, really 
nice sort of bronze. I love this colour. I'm going to use this more often, I think. Alright, so remember that was a tube paint, pigment, pigment, and now another tube paint. Alrighty guys, now that I've got all the colours on there, I'm just going to give it a quick um, blowtorch just to get rid of any air bubbles. Now I am noticing that there is a couple of stubborn ones. And remember, if you see any stubborn um, air bubbles, don't put the blowtorch right over the top of it and try to pop it with the blowtorch. Get the skewer and pop it with the skewer because you don't want to melt the paint alrighty I think that's about all of them now it's time to start swiping All right, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to start from like in the middle and sort of swipe out. I think that's the best way to do it. I don't know. I've never done anything this big. I've never done a, a bloom swipe this big before, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> All righty, so I've got some paper towel on standby to wipe off the actual palette knife. Because you want to wipe off the palette knife after each swipe and, and then reactivate it by putting more cell activator on there. Okay, I'm just noticing a couple more air bubbles popping up. I guess that's a good thing for taking your time. You can actually see all the air bubbles start to pop up. <laughs> all right, no time like the present, eh? So I'm just making sure I get a, a good coverage over my whole palette knife of the cell activator.
I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, guys. Yoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! All right, let's give it a spin a It's so hard because it's so big. I don't want to. I don't want to send it flying. Weight of the paint just moving just there.
dragon skin like on this one oh, actually I can't pick it up because my hands are my my hands are wet <laughs> but oh my god yes 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 this is wicked cool sick yes Holy, uh, I, I, I want to swear, but I just, I, yeah, I don't want to, I want to, I, I want to. <laughs> what the? Ah! Guys, I am absolutely blown away with this puppy. You! Now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can definitely see it. So, this was supposed to be like a, a dragon skin sort of thing. But can anyone see the dragon head just there? The horns. The nose. There's one eye, the other eye's closed. I don't know. It's, it's, it's what my head can see, or my eyes can see. But yeah, <laughs> I'm doing the happy dance. I'm doing the happy dance. Oh my god! Now I'm buggered doing the dance. <laughs> oh, what? Guys, I am absolutely stoked with this one. You now, I'm just noticing that there's a couple of air bubbles. Oh, 
Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. I just hope this thing dries as good as it looks right now. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, if it doesn't dry as good, I'm going to be so devastated. <laughs> Look at these hands! You! <laughs> but creating a piece like this, I don't care when I get hands like that. You! All right, I'll bring you down for a close-up. What do you reckon? I'm trying to get where there's no, no reflection of the light, which is a bit, bit hard to do. Check out that bit there. That is wicked cool. And there's the dragon head that I was talking about. Now I wish I could get the, um, the camera down close enough to the edge so you can see the edges. Because the edges look so cool but like... It's too dark down there because you can't see. Guys, oh my god, I am absolutely stoked with how this turned out. Oh, guys, oh, you have no idea how happy I am. Actually, you probably do because of all my screaming. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> all right, guys. I just want to thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Holy moly, did I have fun doing this. I was so stressed at the start because I was like, this is so big to, to do a swipe. I, I was so nervous, but I am absolutely stoked with how this turned out. So, yeah! Hoo! <laughs> yes! All right, guys, <laughs> once again, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. I'd love it if you give us a thumbs up. If you think I'm deserving of a thumbs up, please hit it. That would mean the world to me. And if you, if you haven't yet subscribed and you feel like subscribing to me, like, please hit the subscribe button. Then also hit the little dark bell. That'll indicate when I up upload new videos. Um, and if you think any of your friends or family might like 
seeing this insane, insanely huge swipe, <laughs> please forward it on to them. Um, I'd love for them to check it out as well. All right, guys, I just want to thank you again so much for joining me on this episode. This is the fine art of distraction.